Oops, I did it again. Look what I just found. More seasonal whipped cream. Or actually, this is a whipped topping. If you guys missed out on the first whipped topping review I did a few weeks ago, right here on the Fast Cuties, you should definitely check that out. I'll have a link in the description box below. That was actually of the, uh, what was it? It was of a gingerbread flavored whipped cream. You heard me. Here on the Fast Foodies, we review gingerbread whipped cream and peppermint whipped cream. Well, actually, I keep getting it messed up. Whipped topping. In the last whipped topping review I did, I actually asked the Fast Foodie Nation if anyone knew what the difference was between- Where's Cool Whip? Do you have any Cool Whip? Cool Whip. <laughs> cool Whip. Give some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip. Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. <laughs> is that from cool fa Family Guy? <laughs> anyway, well, that's another. What's the difference between Cool Whip, Whipped Cream, and Whipped Topping? I now know the difference. Thank you to Big Steve, the difference between Whipped Cream and Whipped Topping. Dad, did you know that the difference between Whipped Cream and Whipped Topping is that Whipped Cream is made of full fat, cream and sugar, whereas whipped topping also has some type of uh, like waters and oils in it. Yeah, but whipped topping is a topping, it could be anything. Yeah, I don't know what the, the, big man Steve, if you're watching this, what's the difference between whipped cream, whipped topping, and cool whip? Because uh, we have so many different types of whipped, I don't know, creams, topping. I'm getting lost in all of it. But what I do know is that today I am gonna be trying out this seasonal peppermint whipped topping. However, I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to see how that peppermint flavor plays a role in today's review. Oh, and if you want to see more exciting reviews just like this of whipped cream, whipped topping, cool whip, cool whip, all the above, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's shake this bad boy up. And, uh, as my dad taught me, mmm. Mm, okay, yeah. Once again, I think this is actually a different brand of whipped topping. I got it right that time. Whipped topping from the last one I tried. I think the uh, the gingerbread was from Target. Now, I think I actually also found this at Target, but as you can see, this is uh, from Lucer, Lucerine, Lucerine. And what I'm finding is that, um, oh, look at that. It's made with real cream. Would you look at that? But the 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 creaminess the creaminess of that full fat cream is uh balancing out that peppermint flavor so just as the gingerbread flavor was more of a subtle aftertaste and that gingerbread whip topping the peppermint flavor is uh very subtle and kind of comes in at the end and honestly this would be great on some hot cocoa even for me who's not the biggest peppermint mint lover i still think i may top some hot cocoa with this just because you get a you get that classic whipped cream flavor and then uh a little hint of peppermint actually i'm gonna see if i can find like an eggnog whipped cream or a whipped topping or like a like a sugar cookie those are both seasonal flavors right around this christmas time now those would be delicious if you guys have seen any of uh like eggnog flavored whipped creams or as i mentioned sugar cookies let me know in the comments down below where you found them and maybe i'll try to get my hands on them or like a cookie butter Oh man, now you're talking a cookie butter with topping. That would be a, what's the most interesting flavor of whipped topping you've seen? I think it's gotta be either this peppermint or gingerbread. Come on, <laughs> where else would you have seen more interesting ones? But yeah, this is a, uh, this is good. Oh, and a quick tip. When you do have any sort of whipped cream, make sure you tilt it completely upside down because if you don't, then some like I think like gas escapes or something like that, and then you uh, you can't empty the entire jar once it gets to the bottom of the can. I don't know why I said jar. Once you get to the bottom of the can, then you won't get any of the uh, the whip stuff. So make sure you tilt it completely at 180 degrees like that, and then you'll enjoy the entire can of goodiness. For ratings. I'm going with an 8 out of 10. Highly recommend it. Top some sugar cookies with this. Hot cocoa. Pancakes. Waffles. Whatever you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh.
If you made it to the end of this video, then I am sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Gingerbread whipped cream. Well, Fast Foodies, you guys heard the intro. There's really not much else to say. I was just at Target and I found this seasonal gingerbread whipped cream. Oh, sorry, whipped dairy topping made with real cream. Does anyone know what the difference is between whipped cream and whipped dairy topping? Whipped dairy, whipped dairy topping? Aren't they the same? I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, I found this at my local Target in the refrigerated section. So what did I do? Well, obviously, since I am the king of the fast foodies, I picked it up and now I'm about to review it for you guys. But before I do, if you're new to this channel, could you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? I mean, come on, come on. I'm about to film myself eating gingerbread whipped cream for the enjoyment of others. It truly doesn't get any better than this. All right, let's do this. But before I taste it, I need to grab my tasting spoon. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use this. You guys, you guys know my dad. He's been on this channel quite a few times. He's actually a super smart guy. He has his bachelor's degree, a master's degree. I think he actually has one or two master's degrees. And then he actually uh, got his PhD after that. And now he's a professor. So super smart, intelligent guy. And well, I tried to uh, exemplify him in my everyday actions since he is such a great role model. And so today I'm gonna do something that I learned from him because as I mentioned, I tried to kind of not copy him, but yeah, you know, kind of replicate him, do what he does because I wanna be just like him when I grow up. So uh, dad, this one for you. <laughs> you guys look on there, it says joy and wonder. That's honestly what I'm feeling right now. Pretty joyful and uh, wonder, well, can you feel wonder? I'm feeling wonderful, that's for sure. This is actually pretty delicious. I, was, I thought that this would kind of be a gimmick, but you get a, a nice little whipped cream flavor, well obviously, or whipped dairy topping flavor and texture, but then that gingerbread, I was a little worried that it'd be too strong, but uh, just a hint of gingerbread, so you get some of it, but the uh, that whipped dairy topping is preserved. The essence of that whipped dairy topping is preserved. And so this is a great snack. Actually, I was talking to my friend Mikey about this, and he was telling me he bought some of this, um, and he topped it on, I think like maybe pumpkin pie or something like that, and that would actually be delicious because you get that pumpkin pie, then a slight little gingerbread flavor from this. Honestly, put this on anything and everything this holiday season. Thank me later. For ratings, I'm gonna give this, I'll give it a nine out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed this gingerbread whipped dairy topping. And if you do know the difference between whipped cream and whipped dairy topping, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. And uh, that kind of rhymes. I'm a poet and I know it. I'll see you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, then I am sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.